Welcome back. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to say, I can revise my writing to improve the way I organize my sentences. Now, if you were with me in the last lesson, you know that we were experimenting with different ways to write just the beginning of our pieces. Here is version one of my beginning. Remember, I'm writing about hand lettering and my piece is going to provide some good research and information about what hand lettering is and how we do it and why we do it and even the history of it. But in this beginning, I decided that I really wanted to go with an approach that would almost have me in conversation with the people that are reading my piece. And so this is my first attempt at doing this. My goal is to make my reader feel kind of close to me um, and to give them an invitation to join me in learning how to hand letter. Is quarantine life getting you down? Are you missing your friends and family? Rather than hopping on the computer for another Zoom conference call, why not try sending them a card through snail mail instead? A friend recently sent me a hand-lettered card and it brightened my entire day. Now I'm hand-lettering cards of my own and I'm sending them to everyone I love. What's hand-lettering, you ask? Well, that's what this article will teach you. When we analyze my piece, you can see that what I'm trying to do is talk with my reader. And I'm doing that by asking questions, by referring to myself and to my reader as well and using the word you, and also um, by inviting them to do something with me by reading my article. What I want to challenge you to do today, though, is not to settle for the first version of your beginning, but instead to revise it a couple of times by experimenting with the order of your sentences. Let's look at version two. This introduction accomplishes the same thing, but I've changed the order of my sentences a little bit. Stop this video and read it if you're interested. And then scroll back and look at version one again, if you want to. What do you notice about the difference between version one and version two? And I'm wondering, which one do you like better? Pause the video for a minute and think about that carefully. Analyze the difference between these two versions. When you're ready, take a look at version three. Once again, you're going to notice that many of my sentences are the same. I've just changed the order that I've put them in. Your challenge today is to draft the beginning of your research and information piece using one of the approaches that came out of your research yesterday in the mentor text that you found for yourself, and then revise it three different ways by changing up the order of your sentences. If you have questions, reach out to your teacher first and he or she will contact me if they need to. I will see you at the start of the next lesson.